Welcome to the Welding Technocrat YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to understand the four main responsibilities of welding engineer as per ASME PPVC Section 9 QG 106 Organization Responsibility. Usually, the welding engineer's job description includes preparation of shop well plan and test plan and shop well quality control, welding consumable planning and estimation, development of new welding process in order to increase productivity, welding automation and digitalization. But ASME is silent about any of these above mentioned activities of welding engineer. Let's see about what the ASME section 9 talks about welding engineer's responsibility. The 2019 edition of Section 9 added a requirement to paragraph QG 106 that organizations must define the responsibilities of welding engineer. The main responsibility was given for certifying qualification documents. This meant that the involvement of welding engineer during qualification test was not mandatory, but the qualification documents should only be certified by the designated welding engineer. Further, in 2021 edition, the responsibility of welding engineer was increased and the overall ownership of qualification test was handed over to welding engineer. Welding engineer shall be designated by the organization with the responsibility for supervision, control, evaluation and acceptance of qualification testing. Consider a heavy manufacturing organization where welding is carried out. The organization has compliance of the requirement of QG 106 organization responsibility as to designate a personnel for performing supervisory activities that is a welding engineer with the responsibility of conducting welding procedure qualification test as well as welder or welding operator performance qualification test. As per the ASME BPVC Section 9 QG 106 Organization Responsibility, Welling Engineer's main responsibility is to supervise and control the welding test coupon. Welding Engineers should supervise and control welding procedure and performance qualification for different welding processes and different welders, welding operators. Complete records and whenever required get them formally reviewed by an authorized inspector or by customer. ASME Section 9 QG 106 demands specific knowledge requirement from the welding engineer. Welding engineers should have knowledge of the requirements of ASME BPVC Section 9 for the qualification of procedures and or welders and welding operators. Now what is the purpose of giving only the designated welding engineer such specific responsibility? The welding qualification requirements of Section 9 code that an organization adopts must be fully supervised and controlled in such a way that the information in the qualification record is a true record of the variables that were used during the welding of test coupon. In summary, as a well-qualified personnel is appointed, there should be no error in recording all the ASME Section 9 code specified welding related variables. There are various welding related activities for qualification test. Selection of base metal of different P number and group number and the thickness. Type of joint preparation, drew design and backing material or retainers. Selection of filler metal, size, thickness, product form and flux. Position and progression of conducting qualification test. Preheat and post well heat treatment. Selection of shielding, backing and trailing gas, mixture, composition and their flow rate. Electrical characteristics like polarity, current voltage, speed and pulsing. Welding techniques regarding weaving, cleaning, back gouging and automation.
As per QG106 organization responsibility, the designated willing engineer are given the below responsibilities for supervision, control, evaluation, and acceptance of qualification testing. Let us understand in detail. Supervision means to observe and direct the execution of earlier listed building qualification related activities. Control means to exercise power and authority to determine and influence welding of test coupon. Evaluation means to judge welding qualification related activities and quality of deposited weld and assess the destructive and non-destructive testing result. And finally, acceptance means to declare as valid or correct the results of various testing like service and volumetric entity, chemical analysis, tension test, bend test, toughness test, macroscopic and microscopic examinations and other tests. Happy welding! Thank you for watching. Kindly you like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Push the bell notification for new welding related videos. Share the video with welders, welding foremen, welding engineers and welding enthusiasts.